Hey, here is another collection update. I deleted the last video because I wasn't talking. So, here's one where I am talking. This one is the Cornwell Grandfather Clock, which is running happily, as you can see. I'll back up some where you can see the whole thing. Yep. Nice pinched waist is what these are called. For obvious reasons. Now moving on to the Spartus Double Bail. Here is the Spartus Double Bail. I don't use it for an alarm clock. Anyway, nice looking clock to be from the 70s. Still runs great. Now moving on to the the Thomas Fallsbury. Nice Art Deco style mantel clock. Now moving on to the West Clock's Travel Alarm. Cute little clock, found at Goodwill. And behind it is a Spartus 1970s alarm clock. Moving over slightly is a Finney Walker travel alarm clock made in Japan. It does run, but is very finicky. Moving up is a Ingram Wizard from the late 1800s. Keeps great time. Nice deep cathedral gong on it. Moving down a little bit. Is a cute little sharp alarm clock. This was bought by a friend of mine for me. And here is a late 1990s West Clocks dial light. It does run very nicely. The light still works, which is very nice. <sighs> Moving over. A cute little... Spartus Miniature Grandfather Clock, which does run nicely. Moving over is the Waterbury Eldred Gingerbread, circa 1891. Moving over, cute little Lux Pendulet, one of the common models. Here's a Hermley 1051030A. Moving over is a porcelain clock with a Landshire movement. Goodwill fine too. And here's a cute little West Clocks. Which does run, I just don't have it wound. Moving on. Nice Youngin's anniversary clock with a horror movement. Alright, moving on from that. Let's see. Here's a nice German porcelain clock. Which was my great grandmother's. It does run too. And here's a bull of a Dalton, which was a graduation gift. Here's a nice, let me think, Edgar Hen anniversary clock, miniature anniversary clock, more specifically. And here is a first time manufactory alarm clock, which this one quit working on me. And behind it is a Wizard of Oz anniversary clock, which was a present for my grandmother. And let me get this one. This is a, let me see what brand the movement is. The movement brand is Adolf Jerker. German. It runs too. Moving on. 
And here is a Sith Thomas Legacy, a light version of it. Beautiful clock nonetheless. Here's a cute little German carriage clock, which is a Emil Schmeckenbecker. Besser, sorry. And here's a very light Ingram Quartz clock from the 70s. Some of you may not consider that a true Ingram, and that's okay. And here's a General Electric wall clock from the 70s, which was also my great-grandmother's. Runs nicely. Now on to the next. And here is the famous Revere R913. Which doesn't run currently. And then there's a beautiful Sessions Inlay number 5 from July of 1929. The movement is a replacement from a clock from 1936. In much better shape than the original. And here is the Triple Chime Jamaican Besher Wild Clock case. And then there's the New Haven O Ryan from 1917. It's just the case. And here's my nice little Scooby Doo Top Dog Alarm Clock, which was a friend, a friend, a gift from my uncle's wife, who unfortunately is no longer with us. Yeah. Anyway, wait, I forgot one. Moving on. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy to forget. I have so many. And here is a... I'm not even going to call this a big band because it's not. But this is a cute little clock, and I like the fact that it has the phone charger in it, which charges it faster. Okay, thank you very much for watching. This was a much longer video. <laughs>